missed Tuesday's show? Here's the RE Cap, presented by Honda. Jeremy Schapp here on the show. Give me your favorite story that you learned about Buster Douglas. After the fight is made and Buster gets his shot at Mike Tyson to win that crown, his mother, Lula Pearl Douglas, asks his father, who had been a great prize fighter himself, Bill Douglas, about this Mike Tyson guy. Is he really as scary as everybody says? And Bill Douglas says, yeah, he really is. <laughs> <laughs> and so she goes to Buster's house that night to talk him out of fighting Mike Tyson. And he says to his mom, no, 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 don't be worried about me. Be worried about that guy. Mike Tyson, as you well know, was a colossus. He was the biggest star in sports. Nobody thought Buster Douglas had a chance. And you know what? It turned out Buster was right. Are you part of the Hot Boys? Is that just the front four? I mean, yes. how does it work here, Jalen? The Hot Boys is a, is a very unique group. Um, there's initiations that go down. There's, <laughs> there's certain qualifications that you have to have to be a part of the Hot Boys. Okay. And I'm one of those initial members. It's something that you, you you have to earn. So I don't know if this is like Fight Club. <laughs> Hopefully you can talk about it, Jalen Smith. This is what I will tell you. Michael Charlton is the founder and Demarcus Morris is the, the, the CEO. You follow the Michigan man. Is that what you're saying? You know, I don't like to view it as that because I can't remember <laughs> the last time Michigan beat uh, Ohio State or Notre Dame. Oh, so my. We don't God. really like all that Michigan stuff. Mm. However, you know, he's the founder. And, um, you know, when someone gets voted in, you know, it, we have a roundtable discussion and every member of the Hot Boys has to say I. Give me your favorite Ollie story. My dad knew him before he went to Rome as an 18-year-old to fight in the Olympics. When he gets back from Rome, you know, he's coming through New York. My father was at Newsweek. They spent the whole day together, spent the night in Ali's suite. My father had to have Ali call his wife at the time to uh, to vouch for him that he was actually with the champ, um, <laughs> that he wasn't doing something he shouldn't have been doing. We're in New York watching on TV, and there are women fighting on the undercard, which was a novelty at the time. And we're in New York watching on TV, and my father said, to Ali, champ, what do you think about this? Women fighting. And he takes a pause. I only like it when they're fighting over me. <laughs> Just like that. And that was, that was Muhammad. So, Dan, I, I want to hit you up before I let you go on uh, Ben Roethlisberger. Suffered a rib injury. Part of the reason why there was confusion of him coming back is because the x-ray machine in Oakland wasn't, was old, and they couldn't really tell <laughs> much from the... The x-ray machine in Oakland is a Polaroid camera. <laughs> oh, is it the same one they used with you, Dan, from back in the day? It's the same way they used with Blanda. Are you serious, by the way? Well, I'm just uh, surmising. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That stadium? I mean, I know. everything is back in the 60s in that stadium. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.